Hi, my name is Carol and welcome to Hummingbird Spot. Thanks to Alec of Nature with Alec, we were able to watch Emerald's second clutch of this season. Unfortunately, this one was not as successful as the first. After both babies hatched, Emerald fed them well. She's an experienced mother now and the hatchlings grew. Our community named them Crimson and Clover. Around the ninth day, they both opened their eyes, and over the next seven days, we happily watched these little birds preening and flapping their wings. We were very excited about the coming days of watching them fledge out into the world. We had no idea that this was the last time we would see Little Crimson. Suddenly, we saw a blur of a large bird and then the nest was empty. Alec rushed outside to investigate and found Little Clover confused on the ground. Little Crimson could not be found. Alec reinforced the nest a bit and placed Clover back in. He continued to look for crimson to no avail. Clover was in the nest and very shaken by what happened. Emerald came by to try to feed Clover, but the little one did not move very much. After a little recuperation time, Clover relaxed and started moving around, preening and exercising the little wings. Emerald continued to come and gave regular feedings. Little Clover spent the night alone in the nest without crimson. The next day was a day of eating and preening and exercising. But something very strange started happening. A very aggressive female hummingbird started coming to the nest and poking Clover with her beak. This female kept coming back again and again and seemed to be trying to get Clover out of the nest. Emerald would chase her and so would Alec, but she kept coming back, but Clover wouldn't budge. Alec also spotted something even more ominous. The American kestrel was again hanging around the area not 30 feet from the nest. I discussed this situation with Beth Garcia of Ventura Hummingbird Rescue, and we agreed that Clover was in imminent danger and should be removed from the nest. But when Alec approached, Clover became frightened enough to leave and made a strong 50-foot flight to a nearby bush. 
Emerald was aware and began to feed Clover. The next day, I went to Alex to check on Emerald and Clover and I took several photographs. Clover is flying well and preening and spreading her wings. Emerald is continuing to make regular feedings. Both mom and baby are fine. Good luck, little Clover. You had a rough beginning, but you are looking good.